And you can also reach us directly through the app or Facebook as this next family did. Family members in Plant City will be forced to say goodbye to this father. Luis Blanco is said to be deported by ICE at the end of this month. Now his pregnant wife and children are left to fend for themselves since he was a sole provider for this family. 10 News reporter Shannon Valladolid spoke to the family who is right now very distraught about losing him. Luis Blanco has called Plant City home for the past 20 years. He lives with his wife and five children and has another on the way. ¿Cómo están, mi amor? Bien. ¿Sí? Now the life he's built here is set to expire. He's counting down the days until he must leave his family and job. Luis is being deported back to Mexico at the end of the month. Tienen un terapista porque pues ha cambiado su vida también. My other girls have therapists because their life too has changed. They are having a hard time. I haven't told my younger daughters. I've said I'm just leaving for a while to visit their grandpa. His wife is here with DACA protection. She arrived to the U.S. when she was just 11. But now with that program possibly being eliminated, these children could be placed in foster care. Abandonar a mis hijos. To abandon my kids, it's something that hurts. They'll be left here to suffer. This wouldn't be the first time Luis has been deported. In 1998, he received a deportation order and was sent back to Mexico. But with the conditions being bad in his hometown, he couldn't find work to support his family. So he came back to the U.S. illegally. Many people might think, oh, why don't you just apply for citizenship? But for somebody like Luis, uh, who is undocumented, and he doesn't have a, a U.S. citizen wife that can petition for him. Unfortunately, under our current immigration laws, there, just, there was not a pathway for him to do that. A few years ago, Luis was stopped in South Carolina for having tinted windows and was detained by ICE. But he was released under court order supervision. Immigration attorney Daniela Hogue helped Luis file for a humanitarian stay, which under the Obama administration was granted. But now... Under the Trump administration, ICE has been given directives to pretty much make everyone a target, regardless of if they've been arrested for a crime or if they've been arrested on a minor traffic offense. Everyone is fair game. Luis having just a couple of weeks before he has to say goodbye for a long time. In Plant City, Shinan Valladolid. 10 news. So what are Luis's options for staying? His attorney says there aren't many. His family can file a petition to let him stay, but they have to be U.S. citizens. His eldest daughter is 17 years old, so when she turns 21, she can apply. However, since Luis has a deportation order, he will have to wait 10 years before he can qualify for a waiver to come back. A CBS News poll found that most Americans support the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, but Americans are divided over whether the issue is worth risking a shutdown of the federal government. Democrats think it is, while Republicans do not. Last week, the president said that he would support a clean bill to protect immigrants who came to the U.S. as children. But then the president said he would not support a DACA and immigration reform bill without funding for the border wall with Mexico. Lawmakers have until tomorrow to come up with a decision or the government will close up.